Hey guys, I'm Ability44, you're watching What's Up With RS, and I'm here to tell you about the new soaking stuffs that Armor has in RuneScape. But first, there's something I need to say. It's over 9,000! That's right, thank you to all my subscribers. I hit 9,000 subscribers not too long ago, and it was actually on my 20th birthday. Yeah, 20. A lot of people say that I look a lot younger in my videos. But let's get into this RuneScape update about the soaking bonuses to Armor. Now, they didn't add new Armor, but what they did is they added new abilities for the Armor that they already had in the game, like Rune and Black Dehyde. It's pretty much basic armor that has the soaking bonuses now. Now, before y'all start asking the question, no, Dragon Boots do not have any soaking abilities, but many of the shields and a shit ton of the regular armor now have soaking bonuses. But these soaking bonuses only work if something hits over 200 HP on. Now, here's a picture of me with my chaotic shield, and I'm going to explain what's up about these new damage soaking bonuses. Here's the picture. So right down here is actually where it shows how much soaking damage you're actually getting with the armor that you're wearing. Put a little square right here, showing you all that area. So as you can see with the Chaotic Shield, I absorb 7% of melee attacks dealt to me if I get hit for 200 life points or more. And I also absorb 14% range, but I absorb no magic attacks. Now the way that damage soaking works is the same way as the combat triangle. I know I have how the combat triangle works in the description if y'all don't know. Now also with the damage soaking, they added new hit splats, which show how much you've been hit for and how much you hit for. Also if you hit high enough, it'll show the max hit splat, which is pretty much just a graphical alteration to the regular hit splat now. Also with these new hit splats, they were able to do some more things. Just like with the old hit splats, the text is inside the hit splat, but now next to the hit splat, the damage type that you're taking is shown beside it. So if you're getting attacked with range, it'll show like a little bow and arrow. Also they added in where you can tell the difference between your hits, your cannon hits, and your deflect prayer hits, and of course other types of damage. Also they have faded hit splats now, which are dealt only by players of RuneScape. NPCs will have a very non-transparent hit splat when they attack you. And with these new damage soaking bonuses, it'll show next to the hit splat how much damage is actually being soaked up. Okay, so I'm pretty much showing y'all in this clip the um the new soaking damages and all that new hit points and hit splats and shit so here's my absorption you know chaotic crossbow chaotic shield uh you know just regular setup demon horn necklace you know just whatever you want to bring um but you know gonna overload take a little sip of a you know got the little hit points going on right there taking hundreds out of me that's cool um but yeah, so it shows that I have just been attacked by magic, uh, and that's what that little thing right there means. Uh, I'm going to load this up. It shows what I'm hitting it with. See, that's range. That's, that was me. Um, there's range again. I want it to deflect. Oh, there it is. Deflect. Okay, and then there was a little cannon. If y'all had missed that, I'm going to show some more. There it is. So deflect, range, range, cannon. Man, my cannon's a fucking beast. Jeez, hitting fucking 250s. That's right, that's right. Some of my little pack yak, you know how it is. Pick up them frost dragon bones. Bank, blip, done. So, yeah. There's all oh, fuck. So I guess they classify the dragon fire breath as magic. That's all about the hit splats. And Jagex, I just have a message for y'all. If you want to fit all this stuff into the hit splats, you're going to need lots and lots of lubricant. Whoa, 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 what? All right, all right, never mind, never mind. Let's just get into the other news. They made changes to the new grouping that they put into RuneScape, and they made it to where you can right-click, and it'll still have the arrow and everything. But you can click before the arrow actually pops out, or when well, it's popped out, or whatever, and it'll have the first option in that little arrow section that you can click on when you're not actually on that option, if that makes any sense. And the last thing in the other news is that Duke Horatio in Lumbridge Castle now gives out multiple anti-dragon shields. Alright, that's all your RuneScape updates, but... But... <laughs> I'm gonna give you a personal update real quick. I got 99 magic. Here's a picture. Yeah, yeah, I'm that, I'm that black chick right right there. If y'all are asking why I was a black chick on RuneScape at that point in time, I don't, I don't know. I, I just... I, I don't know. But yeah, that's what's been going on with RuneScape updates. Thanks for checking in with this video, and hopefully y'all will be here for the next update. So I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. That's not it.
piece. That one. No, I'm not going all hippie with that. Fuck y'all! Get out of here! The video's over! Nah, that's kind of... Huh. If y'all are still watching, I mean, I don't even understand why y'all are still watching anyways. To be quite honest, it's weird. I mean, I'm just babbling. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut the video off now. Bye, guys!